You got people that are like on the internet and they're sitting there and they're showing you this stuff. So this is a guy that I found. Let's see what this guy has to say. Yeah, that's exactly right. Who is this guy? This guy, everything's a joke. It's all a joke. You got to pay attention to what's going on, how you're dealing with stuff. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey, wait a second. Who is this clown? We should be listening to this guy. He's Mark smart. Crossfield, my how guest today. How are you, man? Yeah, it's so fantastic. good to see you. I Thanks appreciate you me. making Thanks the trip. So listen, in this video, and you do a lot of video work, we're talking about helping people hit a draw, get rid of that slice or that fade. I know you've spoken a lot about it, but our, our viewers might not have had a chance to know who exactly Mark Crossfield is and how to get rid of that thing. So let's go in there. Let's teach some people how we're going to hit a draw. Okay, so let's get some face to path control to start us off. We're going to do that with lead wrist, so left wrist for right-handed golfer. I want the students at home, the golfers watching, when they get to the top of their backswing, let's see if we can get this wrist flattening off as much I, as I they can that. with that lead arm. So you're saying you got so many people that are cupping that let's thing. Let's get rid of that. We want to get that thing rotated like that. Absolutely. That's going to turn the face to a different position that's going to allow you, hopefully, to get it close to a path. Face close to a path, the ball subject, the strike's going to turn right to left in the air. All right, so that's let's go win. ahead and let's hit one. Let's see if we can get this thing to, to turn a little to the hook side, there's a good strike. So that's me trying to turn it left. And if you look here, this is gonna show up in just a second. So we're gonna see a number here on the left here. So look, 1118 one, one, left, that's revs per minute. That's that plane tilting to the left. That is that right to left curvature in the air, the draw spin. But if you look where my horizontal launch, one, nearly one degree to the right. Yeah. Really, we could push that further to we the gotta right. we got to get that, that thing to get a little bit more to the right. Have you got something for me? Well, listen, that? man, we've got that, we got that face all figured yeah. out. Now we got to get the path figured out, Show right? Me. So we all understand the importance of path. Remember, I, got, I told you all that we would have a, a, an understanding of our new camera angle, how it's going to help you out. Well, we talk about shoulder turn all the time. But so many times, you're not understanding what we mean about shoulder turn. So I take this club shaft, put it across my shoulder. Now, with our new camera five shot, Gibbsy, now all of a sudden when I'm turning, you can see how that grip gets all the way over here. Watch what happens if I just seesaw the shoulders. When I just do this with a seesaw on the shoulders, you can see the grip doesn't move at all. When we go over here this way, now all of a sudden that grip shows up. Now, we come back to where, and I think, Mark, and, and I assume you agree with us, that as we start to get a little bit better rotation with the shoulders, we got to move that ball position back a little bit. And now we're going to have a, a little bit of a, a path that goes out to the right. Definitely. So we've moved that ball back just a bit. I'm going to make these shoulders rotate. And then I'm going, to, I'm going to grab your idea of taking that club face and getting that club face into that right position. We should be able to hit a shot that's going to start out a little bit to the right and have a little bit of a draw to it. Start it out to the right. Absolutely. Coming back Turn it back here. to the left. Getting that shoulder turn is just going to help them get a little bit more depth on that backswing, isn't it? And I also think, too, and I'm, I'm curious to, to, to hear your thoughts on this, I think ball position is such a misunderstood thing and Absolutely. something that's so important for people to remember as they get ready to hit that shot. 100%. And I like to see students play a bit with ball position. Like, you know, don't, don't think there's an exact. If you move it a bit further back and the ball starts right, curves back onto target, that's a good thing, but be, be prepared to play with it a little bit, move and when, it around. And when you start talking about ball position, I think so many people, particularly with a the driver, they really run into this thing where they go, hey, you know what, with the driver, I have to have it off my left toe yeah. or my left heel or my left shoulder, whatever. But it's really a shot shape thing, isn't it? Absolutely. It's got to be functional. It's got to work for them at home. And every one of them is going to be slightly different. These are guides. You use them. See how they work. He's a smart man. You can catch his videos over there at, at, Mark, at Mark, Mark Crossfield, Crossfield right on YouTube. On YouTube. Absolutely. Well done. Hey, it's great to see you. Thanks I for appreciate me. you stopping in, Thank making you. the big trip from across you. the pond. I hope that helps them.